Hi there, this is going to be a daily reading for Thursday, October 4th. I really wanted to get this reading out now. I was going to wait until tomorrow, but something's telling me to do it now. I just finished going live on my Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. Follow me there. I just did a spread and we talked some stories and we laughed and we had some fun. Yeah, I try to go live there as much as I possibly can. Anyways, this is going to be general, so this may not resonate with everybody, okay? This is going to just be for whoever, if you feel like you go, yes, 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 then it's for you, honey. Now, tonight in the Keepers of the Light deck, I pulled Odin, which is Psychic Insight, along with um, the White Eagle, which is all about um, healing. Fuck, what is it? Hold on. Oh, I have it right here. Hold on. White Eagle, Ancestor Spirit, connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. I pulled these two cards because I feel like during this Scorpio energy, we are going to be having our third eye blast wide open. And then sure enough, after I said that and I was channeling, the moon card came out twice and I said, you know, Freya, Goddess Freya with the moon and blah, 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 and our psychic insight. And then boom, I pulled this card. And in the book, it says that Freya is Odin's twin flame. Honey, you can't make the shit up. Okay, you literally cannot make the shit up. So even my third eye is blasting wide open even more than it than it already is. All right, let's go ahead and get some cards out of this Isis Oracle deck. Goddess Isis, what do you have to tell us for Thursday? Remember now, time is an illusion and energy is fluid. It does not have to only be for Thursday the 4th. Oh my God. Oh Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I just talked about this too. When I pulled the psychic insight card for Odin, I said that I believe that the third eye is going to be coming wide open and psychic insight will be happening more so, especially for the unawakened masculines. And look at what card we have. Oh my God. Healing the divine masculine. The divine masculine within provides protection, discernment, healing and a sense of deep safety and holding even through the most uncomfortable circumstances of life your inner masculine is going through healing right now growing stronger in the ability to offer you inner protection and stability so that your inner feminine can blossom with creative expression now this is one of two things this is us connecting with and healing the divine masculine within us because each of us is of course, both. We're the yin and the yang, you know, within ourselves. We are both feminine and masculine energies. When you become balanced within yourself, you meet another person that is balanced also because like attracts like. Oh, look at who it is. Osiris. God of the underworld. And then we also have Miracle of Isis. Isis offers a, mir a miracle healing. No matter how much you have struggled with a particular matter, no matter how impossible it may seem to imagine your life without this old wound, addiction, problem, relationship issue, or inner struggle being part of it, you are guided now to accept the possibility of miraculous healing. Let go and let the goddess be. Oh my God, I got the chills. Look at them. It's it's goddess Isis and Osiris. You know, twin flames themselves. A lot of us have very deep-rooted Egyptian past lives. And it's going to start bubbling to the surface here. Jesus Christ. Four fucking cups and the six of cups. You know what it says here? I'm talking about no matter how impossible something might seem some of you guys have been sitting in this energy of this four of cups unrequited love tables turn too, right so a lot of the feminines have been in this energy first and then they got over it and lived their best life eight of cups you no know? and then the masculines had to learn this lesson too mirrors out someone's coming back six of cups Six of Cups is soulmate also, so it can be a twin flame soulmate. You guys know how I feel about the terms, the labels. A soul connection is a soul connection. Someone here with a soul connection is coming back. I can feel it. 
for sure. And I think it's something too, either number one, it's a person that you never thought in a million years would awaken and come back. Or number two, this is someone you haven't met yet, soulmate from a past life, but it's someone that is everything you could have ever hoped and dreamed of on your wish list. One of two things here. Miracle of Isis. You just have to let go. Get out of the way. Allow. You have to allow to be able to receive. Yeah? If you try to control the situation, you're blocking it. You have to surrender. Remember now, we don't chase it. We align with it. Now, for those who are going to say, I don't want somebody new coming from my past, then when they come back, you say, fuck off. I, it's very simple. <clears throat> you literally say, fuck off. <laughs> oh, definitely reconciliation. Somebody's going to want reconciliation. It's Sagittarius energy, yes. But this is reconciliation. The angel of oh, patience is a virtue. It's the angel of patience. Balance. Divine intervention. <clears throat> the universe are angels guiding these two cups together. I tell you guys, I feel very destined and faded energy. <sighs> Almost like one in a billion type of an energy. Good luck. Type of, you know, winning the lottery type of an energy. Whether that's really in... in in real life winning the lottery or this is like hitting the jackpot in love this is a reconciliation someone's coming back whether it's a past life person you've never met yet or someone in this life knight of cups coming in to offer something coming in to sweep you off your feet it can also be an apology with this this can also be a secret admirer i channeled that too i think a couple days ago i forget when it was that i felt that somebody could be spying on you already whether it's an old person or someone new say for example i use this as an example like you're standing in line at starbucks ordering and they're watching you already so i feel like they've already seen you before you've seen them you may know of them because let's say you know who they are but you've never really met or you've dreamed of each other um but i feel like the other person sees you first in whatever way this means whether it's because they saw you coming first whether it's because they physically laid eyes on you first i'm not sure it's one of the two this is definitely a very beautiful thing and then for some of you it could be a scorpio this is death meaning endings and new beginnings meaning transformation rising up from one's ashes healing the divine masculine whether within yourself see this is what's funny is if you are a true twin flame your mirrors which means if you heal your masculine within you what do you cause you cause now this domino effect of a mirror effect of now your divine masculine needs to do the same so you heal your masculine you heal your masculine do you see what i'm saying transformation also here no longer are we down in the dumps we're rising up this is fucking beautiful crazy energy this is going to be right around the time that venus starts to go retrograde in scorpio too this is very symbolic of all of that scorpio energy venus going retrograde in scorpio pluto went direct a couple of days ago you have jupiter going into scorpio in the vedic astrology thank you for all of you that tried to to check me on that um it is the vedic astrology that i was channeling that jupiter is going into scorpio and in western astrology jupiter is already in scorpio so you see how this scorpio energy is just running hot right now and you know scorpio energy is scorpio is ruled by pluto and pluto is all about forced transformations forced you know the venus is the feminine energy too so she's going to be in very unfamiliar territory she doesn't quite like being in all that masculine energy it makes her uncomfortable there's going to be a lot of decisions that are going to need to be made. I do not suggest making any life-changing decisions during any retrograde. We always wait until the planet goes direct. But there's going to be a lot of realizations. A lot of things are going to come to you during this time period. Maybe not necessarily just when Venus goes retrograde, but during this time period for the next, I would say from October to November, big realizations big realizations and big destined and faded events is what I feel that could be because of Jupiter and Uranus right people's paths crossing that you would think how in the fuck would this possibly happen and it happens never say never when the universe wants something to happen it will happen now yeah, look at that masculine energy Aries Emperor something's happening here with the masculine energies within ourselves and the actual masculines Aries 
This is Mars. Mars energy. Healing the masculine. You can't make the shit up. This is also taking control. This is stoic energy. But high vibrationally, the emperor is someone that's seasoned. He's cool, calm, and collected. Sits back. Doesn't always react. He's very strategic. He or she, right? It's just the energy. Someone's coming in very cool, calm, and collected. Very old soul to whoever it is coming back in. Yeah, and it's definitely, for some of you, it's definitely somebody that ghosted you or you ghosted them with this Five of Pentacles. Someone definitely coming back in. That's for those of you that it's someone that is coming from this lifetime. Seven of Swords. There was mind games and fuckery with them. Deception. Lies. Whether on your part lying to your goddamn self or them lying to you or you lying to them, I don't know. But mind games, deception, trying to get away with some shit. Trying to be slick. And then look at what came out together. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest energy in the deck, but it is slowly but surely. This is an offer. This is this is some a, a pentacle. This is something tangible. This is abundance. This could be a relationship. Something's coming in here, and it was a very slow process. But look, it's something that's being manifested off of your wish list. I told you guys, destined and fated events. And didn't I just say that earlier? That I felt if it was someone new coming in, it'd be someone from a past life, but someone that would be off of your wish list. Someone that you would say, that's my dream person. I fucking told you guys, it's insane, isn't it? But I can feel the energy so, so strongly. And this is absolutely beautiful energy. I want to remind you guys, if you are a Libra sun sign and you want to book a reading with me, your readings are now on sale. Anyone else want to book a reading with me? Click on the box below. All of my information is there. Very soon, I'm going to be having my I Am Love bracelets out for sale. Thank you for everyone who ordered my I Am Love candles through my friend Kiyoki Tavares. Aloha Elixir. But I am going to be selling these handmade I Am Love bracelets made with amethyst and rose quartz. The same crystals that are found in my I Am Love candles that are made by Kiyoki, right? It's amethyst and rose quartz. All right, you guys. I want to thank you so very much. And I'll see you guys again real soon. Love you.